Hey, Dominic. How you doing? Who else do I have? <laughs> Who do I have there? Yeah, I can see you. How you doing? Good. Is that is that Lieutenant Dan? Yes, but we don't see us. You don't see you? You don't need to see you. We can't see anybody. I know, we haven't started class yet. But you guys have the wrong day, I think. <laughs> no, you can you can still do jumping jacks with us. <laughs> but yeah, how you guys doing? It's great to see you. Some notification popped up on my phone, so I went there. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is the kind of the procedure for tomorrow's class. I'd love to have you. Um, since they're brothers, they can practice on each other, and they don't even need a grappling dummy. Yeah. So the kind of the way it works is you're able to see everything. You see how somebody else just signed in. Yeah. Yeah. They've been pretty, they've been a lot of fun. And it'll break up the day quite well. Is that Ruby? It's still connecting to your audio, Ruby. Those, those look like brand new mats, Ruby. How you doing? I know you can't see me yet, Ruby. All right, I'm going to get changed in my gi. I'm going to open these windows and all that good stuff. I'm doing prodigy. Nice. My kids are doing prodigy too. Walking on sunshine. Whoa. And it got to feel good.
Okay. Hey, tell me just, your dad just went to go get cables. Oh no, where'd my head go? I'm the headless horseman. Okay, thank you, Jackson. <laughs> Much better, guys. I'm gonna teach you how to get ahead in life. Badoom, ching. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Ah, come on now. That's great. Um, so let me expand out in case if another person joins, I won't be able to see them. So just a second. Wow, bad hair day. I need to be like an actor. I need to have like hair and makeup people here for me now. Hang on. All right, I have the door open here. It's a lot nicer. I don't know. It's just kind of depressing being in here like all alone shuttered in We're gonna open and see this wonderful day that's outside. So Ruby it looks like you have some new mats. Why don't you unmute? Tell me about uh, these mats. Are they new first? No, no, no I didn't see them last time. I don't think uh, Nice. I like it. It's perfect. So what did you do today, Ruby? Did you work on any of your homeschooling stuff? Um, uh, I did have school. Stuff. You did what now? School. School? Nice. Very good. Yesterday, I called my cousins. You called your cousins? Did you have a Zoom meeting or did, was it just over the regular phone? Nice. Cool. All right, Cash Money, unmute yourself. Looks like Cash Money has a new toy. I was just at Cash's house. Cash Money, what, what, what up? Hey, uh, um, nothing really exciting so far. Nothing exciting? You got a personal delivery from Coach Dan uh, oh, right, for, yeah. for your grappling dummy. Jackson, where'd you go? You, z you zonked out for a second. By the way, happy birthday, Coach Dan. Thank you. Thank you. I am uh, 23 years old now, if you can actually believe that. It's true. 23 years old. You are not. Quiet, you. My son is ratting me out. Uh, Dominic, tell me about You're your day. 35. Yes, correct. Happy birthday. Thank you, Dominic. Jackson, go on mute while Dominic's talking. Thank you, Dominic. Uh, so tell me, what did you do for my birthday? Uh, schoolwork. Schoolwork. Sounds about right. Schoolwork. Sc do you guys have those thick old packets like my kids have? And then, and then the internet as well, like Prodigy and all that good stuff? Yeah, but we don't have the packets. Oh, no packets. Yeah, I think the thick packets are done. So, Miles, what you got going on today? Uh, one happy birthday. Gracias. Uh, my school finally started, so now I'm doing Wait, your school finally started. What does that mean? I don't know what that means. Like, oh, so we had, like, spring break. There was a portion, like, for the first two weeks of this, we didn't have school. No. And they called it spring break? Yeah. Oh, okay. They're like, ah, oh, spring break, we moved it up a couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. yeah. It wasn't really your spring break, though, that was supposed to be, right? Well, last week was spring break. The week before that was not. Oh, interesting. Very interesting. All right, Jackson, tell me what's new. Unmute. Schoolwork. Schoolwork? That's all you have for me? Of all those things that we did together? 
What did we do yesterday, Jackson? Why don't you share that? Planted a garden. Plant. We did plant a garden. Got rid of some bees. Yes, our neighbor had the meanest bees that you could possibly imagine, and we volunteered to remove them. I was going to relocate them, but they were so mean when we got in there. We were getting stung through our suits. It's actually my first time being stung beekeeping. And I, the most painful one for me was right here, right on my forehead. And that hurt so much, getting stung in the forehead. And then you can't do anything about it. You know how you can normally like take out the stinger? But uh, you couldn't take out the stinger because you'd have to take off your bee suit and then you'd have a thousand stings. Um, so at that point, I was like, no, these bees are not going to live to see another day. They are too angry. And then we poured soapy water on them, which is what kills bees. So, yes, mean bees. Mean bees, no fun. My bees are nice bees. They're mean. All right, hang on. Let me fix. And the most painful one for me was in the neck. Yeah, it hurt. In the neck. Yep, that'll do it. That'll be a little painful. All right, we got, we're ready here? Now, I did give, right before class, I gave Elliot a dummy. So hopefully, maybe Elliot will come in at some point. Wait, did we lose somebody? Where's Cash Money? Cash Money, where are you at? All right, here we go. Let's start out with 70 jumping jacks. All right, get set. Good, let's let Jackson get ready. We get to see, oh nice Jackson, perfect view. All right, ready, get set, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, just with me, 10, don't go ahead. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. 24, 25, 29, I think, 30, 31, forgot what number, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 1, 52, 53, 54, 56, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, almost there. 3, 64, 65, 66, 67, 60, 69, 70. Good job. Where do you guys feel it the most? Miles, where do you feel the jumping jacks? Like your heart beating, your calves, your legs? Uh, mostly like my calves. I feel it in my calves too, interestingly enough. So let's do 40 calf raises in celebration. Here we go, ready? Get set and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20. Jackson, what you doing? Stand up straight. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. All right, running in place, touching your heels. 20 seconds. Ready and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Touch your knees as you go now. High knees. Ready and go. One, two, three, four, five, six. If you're on YouTube or watching, just say hi. I can see in real time your comments. Let's say 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 
19, 20. Can you guys see Cash or is he gone? Miles, can you see Cash? Okay, all right. He's gone. Rest in peace, Cash Money. Okay, next one, we're gonna do 20 squats. Ready, Jackson? Ready, Ruby? Ready? There's Cash Money! Where did Cash Money go? Wait, they can't hear us yet. Oh man, they still can't hear us. Connecting to audio. Come on, Cash Money. Hello? Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? You guys don't remember that commercial, do you? All right, let's go. 20 squats. Ready? Get set and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Cash money, 11, 12. That's the dial up internet sound, Cash. All right, that's good on the squats. I lost count. Did your internet kick you off, Cash Money? No, my phone died. Oh, RIP phone. It just became uncharged, right, Cash? What? It just uh, lost charge. Yeah. Got it. All right, cool beans, cool beans. All right, uh, catch going mute. Let's do 20 lunges. Ready, get set, and go. One, two. This hurts my bee stings on my legs. <laughs> Four, five, mean old bees. Six, seven, eight. Nine, 10, 11. Good job, Ruby. Good Dominic Bell. Let's see how Jackson's doing. Jackson, hands over your head. Jackson, there you go. Let's do six more. One, if they're good. Two, Jackson, if they're good. Three, that is not good. Four, five, and six, very nice. Crab walks in your circle space. Ready, get set and go. I'm a crab, I'm a crab, I'm a crab, I'm a crab. What sound do crabs make? I don't know. 20 more seconds, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and good. Next, we need to do stomach. We're going to do cross choke crunches. I don't think Jackson has seen cross choke crunches before. Maybe, uh, maybe not cash too. So my right palm goes up like this. My left one goes down and I imagine that I'm getting a cross choke and I pull it in, twisting my grips. That's as I hold the close guard and I do a crunch up, not a sit up. Look at this side view. I just go like this, one, two, three. So that's a cross choke crunch. All right, let's do those together. We're going to do 30 of them. Ready? Get set and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Ten 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 10 more, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. All right, find somewhere to hold your feet. Oh no, I kicked Bob out. Bob! I have light Bob, but light Bob is too light. 
All right, you guys ready? On your marks. Get set. Oh, we have a new gi. I don't even know if I have the gi here. Maybe I do. Hang on. One of the juniors is here for a new gi. Why don't you guys do 30 sit-ups and I'll be right back, okay? Ready? No, that's fine. Ready and go. Go. I don't even think I, I don't have the yee here. It's well, at my house. That's okay. Don't worry about it. Yeah, I'll have it uh, to you for tomorrow's class. Yeah, no problem. I was out running here, so I was swinging by. So thanks. Awesome. Thanks, Joe. All right. Oh no, I'm bleeding. Keep going, keep going. I'm gonna clean off my blood. Technical difficulties, please stand by. I don't know why I started bleeding. I have a lot of scrapes from working on my yard, my garden. Okay, let's do hip escapes. I'm gonna show the technique behind the hip escape, okay? First, I'm gonna flatten one of my legs and bend the other. Now, I get on my side, the same side that my leg is flat, so this one, now I push with my leg that's bent. And as I push, my hips go backwards and I kind of fold in half like a, a shrimp. If you've ever seen a shrimp move through water, they kind of like fold and unfold, fold and unfold. And that's why some people call this shrimping. Hang on, somebody's typing something on YouTube. Grant is here today. Can't chat because we're streaming via Amazon Fire. Hey Grant. Awesome, i love to have you in the class. Um, there'll just be a little bit of a delay. So in the Zoom, we have Dominic, Cash Money, Miles, Ruby, and Jackson. So it's awesome to have you. If you can, download the Zoom app. It's super easy to make an account. And then you just click on that link that you can see off to the side of the chat or underneath in the description as well. Um, yeah, you probably have it on your TV, it looks like. Amazon Fire, isn't that a tablet? Yeah. All right, so as I was saying with the hip escape, flatten your leg, bend, and then push backwards. Then you pull yourself back, and then do the other side. The more I can scoot my hips back, the better your technique is. But the only thing is then you have to pull yourself back into the same position, okay? We're gonna do this for 25 seconds. Let's get in position now. Here we go. Jackson, get ready. Grant, get ready. Dominic, get ready. Oh, Jackson's frozen. All right, ready, get set, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Good job. All right, now we're gonna do backwards rolls. All of you know how to do this. Yes, we lost Jackson internet problems or something, I don't know. Jackson's internet goes out every time somebody used the microwave. So maybe his brother started the microwave and then pff, his internet went out. All right, ready? Um, let's just do 20 seconds or so of them. No specific number. Ready, get set, and go. Backwards roll. Practice both sides would be good.
I wonder how you're doing, Grant. It would be good to talk to you. I'll take this, though. I love Grant's uh, creativity in his grappling dummy. He used one of those oversized bears that you win at carnivals, and he put a gi on it, and actually what looks like it works pretty decently. Five more seconds. Five, four, maybe one more. Three, two, one. Good job. Now, we're gonna do another jujitsu specific move. This one we have not done before. We ha did do it a little bit, part of a series that we did on the sit out. I think all of you are there for that. So we're gonna practice sit outs. And I'm gonna start, you can start on your knees and your hands. And what I'm gonna do, or you can go on your feet, it doesn't really matter, is I'm gonna post one leg. Actually, it is gonna matter. <clears throat> Be down on your knees to start. We're gonna post one leg. Now, whatever leg that I post, that same side arm is gonna pretend like I hug an arm to my, to my chest. So, post, hug, and now my opposite leg sits all the way through, just like this. And I end almost in the crab uh, walk position. You see that? And then I come back. Now I do the other side. I change, so I'm basing on this arm. I hold with the same side that I'm posting. Then my other leg comes through and I look towards the ceiling. Really make an effort to raise your head up. This can work just on the sit out part of the sit out. And if you have a powerful sit out, it can really help you get out of a front headlock. Especially if you shoot, they're starting the front headlock and you're already doing the sit out, that's the best time to do it. Cash, do you remember this lesson right before your tournament? Give me a thumbs up if you remember. Yeah, because we did it just for, for you, I think, getting in that position. One more time, leg posted, same side hand holds his arm. I sit out and sit through, looking towards the ceiling, chin up, and then I'm just gonna undo it and do the other side. So it kinda look like this. Got it? I'm gonna watch this one because this one's a little trickier and I might wanna give you feedback on it. All right, yeah, Cash has a question. What is it, Cash? Can you do it one more time? Yes, I can. All right, ready? So it goes like this. I post with one leg, cash. The same side hugs. Then my other leg comes all the way through to the crab ride. Or crab, crab walk, sorry. Then I just undo it and I do the other side. Post, same side hand. Sit out, look up, and then back. Got it? Ready, get set, and go. Solo drill. Nice, Ruby do, is doing nice. Good, nice switching sides. Give a little bit better post, Ruby. Yeah, br bring it closer to you. Sit all the way through to the crab. Oh, wrong way, wrong way, wrong way. So turn to your left on that side, Ruby. Put your right hand on the mat, Ruby. Good. Good, now sit all the way through. Oh, wrong way, wrong way, Ruby. Show your chest the other way. Oh, there, that's better, better, Ruby. Now, Ruby, how you can make that less awkward, look at me, is don't post your leg so far back. Like, you're so far back here. Post it out to the side. Do you see what I'm saying to the side? That will help. All right, I can't see Miles. That's okay. Let's see cash. Let's see your sit outs, cash money. Not pretty good, I think, cash, from what I can tell. I can't really see Dominic, but that's okay. Keep working, Dominic. And time. Okay. Now what we're gonna do, hope that went well for you, Grant. If not, on YouTube, you have the option of actually going back so you can rewind it. It's automatically archived. 
All right, we're gonna practice our shots. We're gonna start in our stance. Level change just using your legs. Cash money, watch this. I just bend my legs, look. Nothing else, I don't bend over. Nothing like that. Sadly, I can't use, hang on, I'm reading a comment on Facebook. Sadly, I cannot use my account because it's on restricted mode. Elliot is super great to have you in here. Um, you're right now on the YouTube page. That's great. The only thing is we can't talk to each other. On the Zoom is that we have Dominic, Cash Money, Miles, uh, Ruby, and Jackson. So if you can, you don't have to do it now. You can try if you want. But if you scroll up in the comments or look in the description of the YouTube, you'll see a Zoom location or a Zoom link. If you click on that, you'll have to make an account. You'll just have set up screen name and password. And then it'll take you to this meeting so we can all see each other, which is super cool. Okay? All right. Your Brea baseball or blitzball? Blitzball. All right. I'll remember that. Great to have you, Elliot. I hope you like your grappling dummy. I would say, instead of doing the exercises, um, I would say try and get that Zoom set up. And maybe have your mom or your dad help you, or maybe even your brother help you create that Zoom account, because then we can, uh, yeah, see you. Okay, so we're gonna get in our stance. We level change just from our legs as we do a penetrating step. Now we're pushing off of our back leg. We bring our front knee on the mat and then we whoosh our legs in a windshield wiper motion. At least for this version of the shot that we're doing. You wouldn't do that always. So in your stance, kind of moving around, I level change and penetrating step at the same time. Knee on the mat and a whoosh my legs. Okay, let's practice that for about 30 seconds. Move around a little bit, pretend like there's somebody in front of you that you're shooting on. Ready, go. Hands up in your stance. Elbows in, hands up. Good. Very nice. Good, Ruby. Don't forget the windshield wiper whoosh for this version of the shot. I hear the church bells. That's nice with the doors open. You guys might hear a little bit more traffic, but church bells are cool too. It's kind of relaxing. Five, four, three, two, one, and paro. All right. Now, what we've been doing, Elliot, I don't think that you've done this yet, but even before we went only to online, we were keeping a push-up chart. You might have done it one time, I'm not sure. What you're gonna do is you're gonna do as many push-ups as you can. And I'm gonna write it down and I have a chart um, that I might be able to show you on YouTube, not sure. But here's how it works. Your arms are gonna go down from your shoulders, not out too far, not in too far, not up too far, not back too far, just kind of like a natural uh, position for your arms. My feet will go together in the back just like this and I bend my arms and I touch my nose to the mat. You must touch your nose with our push-ups to the mat in order to get points or, or to get that counted. Don't put your butt up in the air like this. This is a DQ. Don't have it sag. When you go low, don't put your weight on the mat rest and then kind of peel yourself up. You always need to be supporting your weight with your arms and your chest and back. All right, so you guys get set. I'll head on over to the computer. So I'll get ready to log your scores. Keep going, no time limit. Just do as many as you can, but it's over once your chest or your stomach or your knees hit the mat. Ready, get set and go. Touch your nose, Ruby. Ruby, that nose.
All right, I'm over at the computer. You guys can't see me, but you can hear me. Keep going. Keep going. Cash money. Great job. Dominic's done, it looks like. Alright. This is the best that I can do to have Zoom and YouTube looking at it at the same time. YouTube, I believe, has a little bit better of a view. Uh, but it's a little tricky to make the screen capture work on both. All right, let me enter the date. Ruby's still going. Ruby's a stud at. I forgot the date on this one. 28. Man, Ruby. What's today's day? 30th. All right, let's have Dominic unmute and tell me how many you got. 30. That has to be a record for you. Wow, you smashed your record. That is so good, Dominic. <laughs> nice job. You want to know why it is, I think? Is you did it, look at it, this work that you did in the week here. These numbers, 23, 25, 20, 25, and then you rested right before today. So your muscles are ready to go and ready to do a good performance. And that was awesome. All right, cash money. Um, on YouTube, just go ahead and type your score. You dyed your hair magenta? Oh my gosh. Thirty-four. Hang on, I'm trying to get Elliot on here. It's Thirty-four for cash money. Let me find your column cash. Thirty-four. Is that a personal best cash? I'm having trouble find, keeping your column. I think I have no idea though. Yes, thirty-two was your previous best. Very good, cash. Miles. Can Miles do it? He did it. Miles' top score was 40, and now he's at 41. Great job. Ruby. Ruby means going forever. How many? 32. How many? 32. A respectable score. Not a personal best, but a very respectable score. Very good. Grant, how many did you get? All right, so I want to... Elliot's having a delay is so big because I'm watching on my TV too, but the tablet delay though, 37. Great job, Elliot. That's wonderful. Elliot got 37. So if you join in on Zoom, Elliot, it will be instant, um, but you'd have to X out the YouTube because the YouTube is on about a 20 second delay, whereas the uh, Zoom is instant. Very nice job with the 37. Let me see. Elliot, Elliot, Elliot. 37. All right, did we get everybody? I'm still waiting on Grant. But uh, I'll add in Grant's later after the fact because he is not able to type easily. I get it, Grant. Okay, let's go on over and let's do some technique. Give me a second.
All right. Now, I want to start because it's Elliot's first time. Uh, yeah, Elliot's asking a question. You do have to sign into Zoom. So you'll, that's what I was saying before. Grant, great job with 25, by the way. Um, you do need to sign into Zoom. So you'll need to make an account, which I forget what it is, but you'll just need to enter a screen name and then a password. Um, I don't even think they need basic information. Um, I think that's it. And then you'll be able to just click on that link and then boom, there we are. So, and then when you do that, just don't forget to X out YouTube if you're able to do it. Okay, so um, I want to do it a little bit easier today because we have Cash, who's new with the dummy, uh, learning how to work the dummy. Um, Grant is doing his like third class, I think, Grant? Unless, I don't know, unless you're doing them and not telling me. You're on, you're on stealth mode. Um, and then Elliot as well. So I want, I want to be nice and comfortable for everybody. So we're gonna work from the guard today. We're gonna do two basic submissions from the guard. The first is going to be the triangle choke. So what I'm gonna do first, let's do this angle, this will be nice, is I'm gonna control both of my partner's wrists or sleeves. If your dummy has sleeves, great. If not, it's no big deal, you just grab the wrists. Now, my right knee is gonna come in underneath the armpit and my foot is gonna come out of the armpit. Now I raise my hips as high as I can and then clamp my leg down behind his neck and I triangle my legs. Let me show you what that means over on this side. Now the triangle when you end, you see my foot here, the end goal this is called triangling my legs with the foot behind the knee. So when you hear me say triangle your legs, that's what I mean. But I have to get to some other steps a little bit before that. So, because when you arrive in this position, you don't start here. You don't start all the way locked in with a triangle. That would be awesome if you could, but not gonna happen. The first step is gonna to be to cross the arm, just like this, watch. I take the arm and I cross it all the way over. Now, I grab my shin before I open. And I open so I can put my foot on the hip or the ground, probably the ground, because we're working with dummies. And I hip out, and then I really clamp down my shin. I want to make sure that my knee is higher than my ankle. Then I lock up the triangle just like this, foot behind the knee, that's what I was talking about before. Now my triangle is locked and loaded, ready to go. Then to finish, I grab both hands, one on either side of his head, her head, its head, <laughs> and I squeeze. You hold it for about five seconds and then you'll get the tap probably. Well, they'll tap right away because they'll tap whenever we say, ha ha. Now Cash, it's your first time working with the dummy. Most of the time these dummies are, are fine in the closed guard, no big deal. But if your dummy's kind of falling over, like, I don't know, like this, you can take your feet, Cash, and you can kind of put them as grapevines and spread their legs out position him up, and then he stays in the clothes guard. It's n probably not gonna be a problem though, okay? All right, here's the technique with this view. Two sleeve grips. Now, my right foot comes out. I shoot my hips up. You see, I gotta go up there because now I can curl my leg super tight. Nothing's getting in there super tight against this neck. Then I lock my legs, I cross the arm, I grab my shin, hip out, pull this down, and then lock the triangle. I think that's the part that we're gonna struggle with, so try and remember that one the most. Both hands on either side of his head, squeeze any taps. You don't have to make your dummy tap, Cash Money. 
I know Cash Money's wanting to do that. Let me see, Dominic Bell. Where are you? There you are, Dominic. See how I fixed my dummy with my feet? All right. Two sleeve grips. Pull out. Go over. Don't just do this. Raise your hips. Like that. You got to go chase it. Now curl it tight and lock it up. Cross his arm. Grab your shin. Hip out. But when you hip out, Ruby, I'm worried about you hipping out and dropping that knee. We don't drop that knee. We keep that knee high as we hip out. Lock the triangle. Grab behind your shin and squeeze. Capiche? All right, if you're having any problems um, for Elliot, just type them. Um, you can try and get in the Zoom or you can abandon it. It's okay, whatever you're comfortable with for this lesson. But if we can, if we can just get you on the Zoom platform, it'll be so much more fun because we can all talk to each other right now and I can see and help and correct. Um, but if not, just type your problem. All right, ready and go, practice. I'm gonna enter Grant's score really quick, so I'll be right back. 25 for Grant. Is it just me or does the dummy look so sad when it's by himself? He looks like, oh, I'm crying. Good, you're good. Very nice, Elliot. All right, let me get Grant. Grant, 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 Grant. Grant, this is your first time doing push-ups. I don't have it. Grant, Grant, Grant. I'm just looking over to make sure I don't. I don't have it. Grant, oh Grant. He got 25 push-ups. Ruby, when you open, don't forget to hold your shin before you open. But do it with your other hand, your left hand. Yeah. And then put your left foot on the mat. Oh, wait, pretend like it's not locked. Hip escape. Head towards the foot, your brother on the far sofa. Yeah, more, more. You're like, which brother? I'm surrounded by brothers. Hang on, I'll go back over there and help you guys. All right, let's take a look. Cash money, controlling both sleeves. Yes, cash money. Now cross the arm. With your left hand, grab your own shin. Grab it now. Good, now left foot on the mat. Hip escape out, move your head over to your right. Good, and then lock up the triangle. Don't drop your knee. It looked like you dropped your knee even though I can't see it. Good, now grab your shin, one on either side of his head. And then squeeze, good. All right, Dominic, let's check you out here. Man, Dominic, you're so good at triangles. Dominic, I want you to practice both sides, okay? So just alternate one, then the other. Let's do your weak side. So bring your r left leg in this time, okay? Close guard for me, close guard. Good. Don't forget to raise your hips up a little bit. All right, cross your arm. Good. Grab your shin with your right hand. Wait, right hand. Wait, something, something's funky. I thought you had the, yes. So Dominic, you're doing everything backwards now. So, let me show you what you're doing. So Dominic, just stop for a second. So you started, correct. I said do the other side. So you brought this leg out and then shot it up. But then you thought you were on the triangle over here. So you're trying to make it the triangle over on this side, even though you should do it the other way, all the way over like this. So your foot should be on the right side of your body, if that makes sense. It's like backwards.
Okay, now cross her left arm. Cross her left arm. Good. Now with your right hand, grab your left shin. Good. That's it. Now hip escape out. Right foot on the mat. Right foot on the mat. Now move your head towards me. Right foot on the mat. Right foot on the mat. Right foot on the mat. Right but you see, stop, don't move, don't move, Dominic. You see how your left knee is almost touching the mat? You can't allow it to do that. So pull your shin down and raise your knee higher. Higher. You raise me, better. Oh, nice. Now hip out and put your head over here towards me, keeping your, yes, now lock the triangle. That's good, lock the triangle. Now grab your shin and squeeze. Nice job, Dominic. What's going on with Cash Money? I can't see. What is, is Cash like upside down? Oh, there's Cash's head. I understand. Let me take a look at Miles. Miles manipulating the dummy quite well. Good. Nice job. Miles, a little bit more hip out. If we can make a 90 degree angle with them, better. Let's see Ruby. Who's Ruby practicing with? Tiffany? Yeah, that's Tiffany. Is it? Is it Marissa? I can't tell anymore. I don't know what to believe. I think it's Tiffany. Yeah, it's Tiffany. Very good, Ruby. Cross that arm. Nice. Now, Ruby. Yeah, that's okay. Now, Ruby, undo that. Go back a step, Ruby. Now, grab your shin just like you did, but do it on the other side. Ruby, let me show you. Stop for a second, Ruby. Stop for a second. Um, I forgot what side you did. Yeah, that's the normal side. So Ruby, everybody else keep going. When you grab your own shin, let me, let me position Bob up a little bit. You want to grab it not on this side. You see how I'm grabbing around the outside of my leg? Maybe this view will help. I don't want to grab it like that. I want to grab it on the inside of my leg. Do you see? My arm is on the inside of this knee. Then I can open it freely and put it on the mat. And then watch how I hip escape with that. But I don't let this knee drop to the mat. Then I can lock it up. Okay? See if you can add those details. I'm, I'm focusing more on you because you're more advanced and I'm giving you the, the better details. Okay? All right, let's see it. All right, cross her arm now. Now grab the shin on the inside. Wrong, wrong hand, Ruby. There you go. Good, now left foot on the mat, hip escape. Now I'll give you a big break. Don't drop your knee, don't drop your knee. Your right knee touched the mat, pick it up. Good, I'll give you a little bit of break because you're working with somebody bigger than you are. Now lock up the triangle. Now both hands behind your shin. Oh, no, no, there, better. No, not like that, Good. more like this. No, not like that. So Ruby, look how this goes right here. When I'm doing the final thing, I don't grab over here. I go one hand on like this side of their ear and the other hand on the other side of their ear. So like the side of your arms should touch both the ears. Make sense? Thumbs up if it does. Okay, time. I yite. So now we're gonna do a basic arm bar from the guard. And this is what we ended with, like the last class that we did last week on Saturday, I think we did the arm bar from the closed guard. Uh, we've been really focusing on arm bars. We did arm bar from mount. <clears throat> we did arm bar from top side control. And this is the last of the major arm bar positions. So, one, because both of my hands are going to go on one arm, so two on one. And I pull their arm. 
is going to be the one that grabs behind that tricep. I have to make like a hook, super hook behind the now. This is going to go to his shoulder, just like that. That kind of keeps him away from you, so if you need to kind of push him out or push him to the correct way, it'll help. Next step is I'm going to put my left foot on the mat and I hip a look in the description of the YouTube video. Refresh the YouTube video if it's not there. This spot, I can push his head out of the way and then bring my leg over. He will fall. Dummy or not, usually they fall like this. This is the most common scenario. And then I hold at the forearm, pinch my knees, and complete the arm bar. Be good at it, and you want to be good at it for both sides. Oh, you're losing connection. I see what you're saying. I was upside down, Elliot, when I read it, so give me a mistake. Yeah, or give me a break for my mistake. All right. Closed guard. I pull the arm to my shoulder with two on one. Now my other arm comes to his shoulder. I put my foot on the ground and I hip escape and kick him in the armpit or the back of the head, however you want to think of that. I bring it over his head. He falls because I clamp down with this leg. Now I hold the forearm and I complete the arm bar. Another time. So like, I think this one will be more difficult for Elliot, but that's okay because we have time to progress and, and learn this. All right, so I pull his arm to my shoulder with two on one. I hold it with just the cross grip behind his tricep. My hand comes over just like this. Now, I put my left foot on the ground and I hip escape out, kicking him in the back of the head. Now, Bring it over, lift my hips, and I complete the submission. All right. Any questions? Cash wants to see it again. Is that what it is, Cash? What is it, Cash? Can you do it again? Of course, Cash Money. I knew it. I knew it. You're the new Sophia. All right. Let's check it out. Two on one cash money, pull it to your shoulder. You guys hear that motorcycle? That was loud. Two on one to your shoulder, hold behind his tricep. My left hand goes all the way to his shoulder and kind of moves him away a little bit. Left foot on the ground, right foot kicks him in the head so I can hip out. Push his head out of the way, bring your arm over. Pinch my knees, he falls over, and complete the arm bar. Now, Cash, the dummies are not invulnerable, so just go kind of easy on the arm bar. The arm is their weak point, okay? All right, ready? Get set and go. And Elliot, um, if you're you know frustrated because you can't get Zoom to work or your connection isn't bad, it's okay. We'll fix it, okay? I'll even come and you know have a video conference with your mom or your dad to help you get set up the perfect way. All right? It's always a little tricky, like the first time that you set something up uh, that's technical. It's gonna be frustrating. Smash, and, smash your dummy into the computer. Why are you working, YouTube? Why are you working, Zoom? Nah, don't do that. Gosh, Dan, how long are we gonna do this for? Three more minutes. Okay, cool beans. Cool beans. So Elliot and Grant, you have not participated in our Zoom game. That's super fun. I'll tell you how it works while they're drilling. Um, we have invented a game called Scavenger Hunt Race, where I name an item, and the first person to bring me that item in their house that can show it to the camera is the winner. It's a really fun game, actually. And I'll say really obscure stuff, like, this one was worth four points. I said, I think it was yesterday or the day before, I said, Christmas decorations. <laughs> and they had to come with Christmas decorations. And somebody did pretty quickly. I think Miles got that. All right, let's look at Ruby. I'm helping Ruby now. All right, Ruby, let's see your grips. 
Pull her arm to your shoulder. Nice, Ruby. Now left foot on the mat. Kick her in the armpit. Hip out. Not so bad. Leg over her face. Oh, don't, don't put your butt towards your brother. Butt flat on the mat. Good. Now swing your arm over or your leg over her face. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say arm. Almost. You see, that was a little awkward. You got there. It was a little awkward. And the part of that was your hips just being at the wrong angle. You started to hip escape and get on your side, but we don't want to get on our side. We just want to like swivel open like a door. Good. That's it, Ruby. Finish. Nice. All right, let's check it out, Ruby. Actually, let me go one for everybody because we're low on time. We're almost done. Miles. Miles acing it. Really good, Miles. That was fantastic. So we're going to start with this technique next time. And it's okay if it's not perfect. That is the way that learning works. You don't perfect something the first time you do it and then practice it ad nauseum. It's really kind of a bumpy road, that road to success. We're just kind of introducing it. So if Grant or Elliot, you're having some frustration, I can't see you, we'll work through it together, all right? All right, Dominic. Nice, Dominic. Good. That's, that's very good, Dominic. Nice job. Dominic's going to be an armbar machine. Okay, time. Everybody unmute. <laughs> oh, this is the part where it's the, the worst where Grant and Elliot can't participate. You can still do it. All right, wait. Maybe, maybe we can improvise. If Grant or Elliot comes back and finds it, you'll have a contest just with you two because you're on a delay, just the YouTube competition. And the Zoom will have their separate competition. So just type, found it or something when you, when you got it, all right? The first item that you have to find, and this is worth two points, a Halloween decoration. It's Halloween decoration. <laughs> Where's my Halloween decoration? No. Nope. Cash gave me it showed me a light bulb. Wait, let me see. What is it? A Halloween light bulb? Let me not reject it. What is that, Dominic? It's a pumpkin. Oh, you have a pumpkin? Wait, let me see, Cash. It's a fake pumpkin. Is it a black light, Cash? Okay, I'm gonna give it to Cash because Cash brought a black light before the pumpkin. He's the winner. All right, next one. Cash gets two points for that. That was pretty fast, Cash. How did you find that so fast? <laughs> the next one that you have to find worth one point is glue. Glue. <laughs> Oh, Ruby won. Ruby beat y'all so fast. Cash, second place. Miles gets a sad trombone. No, nothing for Cash that time? No, I had blue. Dominic got, yeah, Dominic got second. I see it, Dominic. All right. Oh, I was going to do one and I forgot it. What was I going to do? Hmm. You guys need to find a Crayola crayon. Crayola crayon. A crayon, not a colored pencil. Ruby ties. You beat everybody, Ruby. Yeah, you know, I have crayons, Miles, and I just turned 23. Nah, Ruby got it. The score is Ruby 2, Cash 2, 
and Dominic and Miles' sad trombone. All right, one more. I'm gonna try and think of a really weird one. All right, you need to find, this is worth two points, a thumbtack, a thumbtack. Oh, I hear him, I think I hear. Let me see, Cash. Cash, I can't see, you gotta hold to the camera, Cash. Yeah, Ruby, you got second. Cash Romani takes it. Cash is the victor. To the victor goes the spoils. <laughs> too slow, too slow, too slow. We've already ended the stream. It's done, Miles. Yeah. All right. Grant, Elliot, uh, Miles, Ruby, Cash, and Dominic, thank you so much for class. Tomorrow's class is at a different time. Our updated schedule that we posted, the social distancing schedule that we posted on our webpage is what we're using, even though we're not doing the in-person social distancing, we're still sticking with that schedule. So tomorrow's class is at 5.15, not four o'clock, 5.15. What time is class tomorrow? 5.15. Yeah, it's a weird start time, but that's the way we needed to do it, okay? All right. I'll see you tomorrow at 5.15. Thanks for joining, Elliot. Uh, we'll get Zoom worked out. Everything is good. All right, thank you. I hear Isaiah. What's up, Isaiah? Isaiah will talk to me all day.
Sup, Lenny? I, I have to do a double take when I see you because the resolution is low first and then the no beard. <laughs> Oh, that's Doug? He's looking at the grappling dummy. Yeah, Doug the grappling dummy. Doug the dummy. Doug. Doug. It's like Coach Dan talking. Can you say hi, Coach Dan? Hi. How are you doing, Ollie? How are you doing today? Good? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good. 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 Nice. <laughs> yeah, What up, Matt? How you doing? Oh, you can't hear me yet. Hey, Matt. I'm here. Oh, I knew it. I I never doubted it. I want to set your clock by by me anyway, right? Yeah, but I don't. I know you're right on time because my clock reads five twelve, but we do three minutes behind here, Matt. I know. So but we go when my clock says. Well, you're the boss, so you can do whatever you want. Is there anybody else here? Yep, Brent's here. He's setting up his mats. Hey, Matt. Okay, I'm, I'm doing it on my iPad instead of my... Um, Laptop. No, instead of my phone. And so now I have to... Can you make yourself not vertical? I don't know. I can just always go back and do it on my phone. It's just no, just hard. tilt it the other way. It should auto adjust. There you go. <laughs> okay, I see. I don't see Brent, but I see that says participant. Yeah, our interfaces are different, but from what I understand, just start swiping one way or the other. Right. Yeah, okay. I There, something happened and I just pushed the button and now I see Brent. There you go. Yeah, some of the things with uh, viewing the people is a little not intuitive. I know if you do it on a, on a laptop, you can see everybody. Yeah, I can see everybody, but sometimes... When it reaches its limit, it doesn't tell me that it's at its limit, and I can't tell that new people have come in. That's really frustrating. What's the limit? I don't know. Depends what, like there's a number of different options. I'm not going on the uh, the jujitsu forums very much. I find it like uh, I find it depressing. <laughs> it's boring. It's very boring and depressing right now. Yeah, yeah. I I mean I go on occasionally I'm on there right now that's why I, uh, yeah yeah it, it is it's just like is for it, the most part it's everybody talking about uh, Keenan and and, training. and what Dan and her team still training and Gary and Gordon yeah and the, the, for not. yeah it's, I've saw a little of that too 
and Keenan being the white knight telling everybody to stop training. Yeah, <laughs> two quite opposite uh, ends of the spectrum there. <laughs> Man, super lame. We need more people. Yeah, man. Uh, no, I'm, yeah, that's because I heckled them individually to show up. <laughs> Where's Ray? <sighs> well, and Brent said, or not Brent, uh, Mikey said he would be here. Where's Mikey? Let me message him. We'll we'll start no matter what, but. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, yeah I, I've uh, I've gone to open that on the basis that Mikey would be there with me, and then I have nobody to train with. <laughs> so, <laughs> Mikey's not necessarily a good indicator. And Mikey doesn't know where the link is. Come on. I posted it on our web page. I posted it on our Facebook page. I posted it on our private Facebook page. I posted it on uh, my page. I posted it on our YouTube. What do you mean, where is it? It, it was easy to find. Okay, you, you know what? I, I got it on my iPad, but, it, but I'm not able to pull it up on my phone. I was wondering if on my phone I could see people better. Hang on, let me just spam this out. You know what what makes me what irks me is Johnny requested a dummy. Oh yeah. And I stuffed it and it, it they take a long time to stuff and oh, I'm yeah. out of dummies now. And so he didn't show up. And then Michelle shows me they have two grappling dummies there already. Same one that you did? No, 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 no. Just like, uh, yeah, one of them is the expensive one. All right, let's get started. Okay. All right. So let's do. I don't know. I think my email address, but I don't remember the password. All right, so let's do that long sequence that we ended with. I was still getting a little confusion with that. What's up? Who's that that just came in? <laughs> it's me. It's oh. two of Matt. Two of Matt. Dang I'm having it. a lot of trouble hearing Dang you right now. Dang it. One Matt is enough. No, just kidding. <laughs> I can't get to go. Hey, hey, again, I'm having a lot of trouble hearing you. Is the, is the overhead mic working? Yeah, hang on. No. Probably not. I forgot. Whoops. There. there. I'm using one. Oh. Yeah, yeah, Christina from Boston. I fixed it. She's heckling me on YouTube. Christina, why don't you join in on uh, Zoom? The link is in the description. What's up, Mikey? Mikey graces us with his presence. Hello, Mikey. Mikey, Mikey, get your grappling dummy. Quit playing video games. You got to do something. <laughs> I'm doing a social service here. Shaming Mikey into training. Of course. I like it. All right. So, Matt, can you get rid of one of those? I have Because I have trouble seeing... My problem is in my eyesight. Okay, that's fine. This, if that works best for you, uh, that's fine. Because oh. I have one that I can see you face, I can see you doing. Yeah, I get it. I get it. It's all good. It's all good. So, um, we're going to start with the long sequence that we did. Now, Christina, I don't think that you saw this long sequence, so this is going to be a mouthful here. <laughs> Quite a mouthful. We're going to start with uh, a triangle setup from the spider guard. It's a very long, but we have a lot of time to work it out. So I'm going to control both sleeves if I have them, both wrists if I don't. Now I'm going to set up the spider guard with leg lasso. I'm going to bring my right knee on the inside. I'm going to hip escape. I'm going to throw in my lasso. 
then I'm going to put my foot on the bicep. This is the spider guard with leg lasso. That's the name of it. Now, this position is good for control. It's hard for them to do anything because they're just stuck here. They have no arms. But I notice that my opponent is on his knees because he's a dummy and doesn't do anything else. <clears throat> so I'm going to take out <laughs> my lasso. And as I do, I kind of put my, my back against the mat and I shoot the triangle position. Now, what we've been doing, hello, Christina from Boston. Hello. Now what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to transition to the Uma Plata. I'm going to push his head out of the way and hip out, hip out, hip out until I get to the parallel position, the laying Uma Plata. Uh, Christina, do you have the YouTube open? Yeah, turn off the YouTube because it's a delay. Now, what I'm going to do is with my right hand, the one that's farthest from them, I'm going to grab the leg and hold it to my chest, just like this. And now I extend my legs and I roll over. That's called the rollover sweep. I establish the top position and I have a good chance of getting side control. So, the sequence is this, just so we can get it in our head before we do the details. The sequence is close guard to spider guard, spider guard to triangle, triangle to uma plata, and uma plata to uma plata rollover sweep. So, don't get overwhelmed if that was overwhelming to you. The, what we can make up with a little bit of the realistic feeling with the dummies, we can make it up with like making more complicated sequences to remember. Um, that way we can always be challenging ourselves. So two sleeve grips or wrist grips. Right foot comes on the inside and I put my leg, my foot right on his hip. This makes it so if he tries to come forward and smash, I can kind of use my leg to keep distance. Now I hip escape. I'll be firmly on my side when I hip escape. It gives me a great angle for the lasso. So you know that if your lasso was like impossible, that you did it the wrong way. <laughs> not, not pointing any fingers. So I throw in the lasso and then my foot goes on the bicep. I'm on my side. It's just a tiny bit awkward with the dummy, but not too much. Now I take out my lasso and look, I make myself on my back and then I shoot the triangle. Now one thing that people try and do sometimes in the triangle is they try and make their arm go around my leg and back. And the reason that they do that is because my main goal is to try and cross the arm. So if they uh, hide it, their logic is, ah, then I'm safe. So I'm going to push the head out of the way and pass my leg over. And this position is called the Uma Plata. Specifically, this is the laying Uma Plata position. Just keep their hand in the pocket. Like blue and white isn't the greatest color. Look at this. The top of my gi is white. <laughs> so, and never mind. Color scheme ended it poorly. So keep it in the pocket. Now my hand that's farthest away is going to go and grab their leg. You won't need to do that. You can sometimes. But they try and jump over your body to get out of this. Like that. And when they jump over, then you can hug it. But you can go and get it too. Now I extend my legs, hold the leg, and roll over. All right. So I kind of tailored the instruction as I went along there. All right, let's practice. I want to see Mikey's grappling dummy. Is Mikey using a chair? No, he has one of mine. OK. My dummy's not much of a jumper. <laughs> Christina, where were you from again? I don't remember. From outer space. <laughs> I did watch this the other day. I missed it, the live version, because I got the times mixed up, but I watched the video and I practiced. Oh, nice. That's super cool. Hey, Jordan. Oh, hey, Ray. Um, we're doing this very similar sequence. We're doing, you guys are, you guys don't even, you just need to turn on your computer and you're still late. <laughs> I just got to work. I'm fine with it. It's okay. Um, we're doing 
Close guard to spider, spider to triangle, triangle to Uma Plata, Uma Plata to rollover sweep. Were you able to follow me there, Ray? Yeah, I got it. Yes. You're a good white belt. Hey. How would I promote somebody in this format to like the next belt? <laughs> It'd be more awkward than the 10th planet belt promotions. You guys seen that? They actually give the belt but they don't even unwrap the belt. They just like oh. give it to him. <laughs> it's really bad. To, what? to roll over sweep. I can't see you. Okay. So just in the laying Uma Plata, just in this position. Oh, this one, the, the leg. Yeah. So just make sure, cause I can't see your arm. Just make sure that you grab with the arm that's farthest from him and then hug the chest with it like that. And then kick your legs and roll over. And just to be clear, there's my there's my President Obama inspiration. And just to be clear, <laughs> um, you do this when they try and jump over your body. Man, Christina is so backlit. I'm glad. I kind of don't want anyone to see me. Besides, my dummy keeps falling apart. Whatever. I I admire your initiative, actually. Um, you're like embarrassed. You're like, oh, my dummy stinks. It's kind of weird. Like, what if somebody walks in on me and I'm doing this? Like, uh, but I I really admire the initiative because a lot, a lot are not taking the initiative. What was that? It's desperation. I don't want to go back. <laughs> No, it it's a little bit of initiative too. Like this is, I would have done the same thing as a white belt, but I wasn't every white belt. Look at me, I'm a black belt, been doing it 14 years. Like, yeah, it it takes a special kind of person to like keep going with jujitsu the best that they can in such a challenging time like this. All right, why can't I see Brent? I can see Brent kind of. Brent, do it on the other side. On like the bad side? Yes. Bad side, Dan? Yeah, bad side. You should be doing all the stuff that you already know on the bad side. Yeah, I'm doing it both sides. That's fine. So what have you guys been doing all day today? Ray, where do you, you told me where you worked and I just didn't remember it. You worked in shipping or internet-based e-commerce. No, I'm a lineman for a uh, Okay, I didn't, I didn't remember that. <laughs> Good try. I'm essential. You're essential. That's, that's probably for the better, <laughs> trust me. Speaking, speaking as a non-essential to an essential, <laughs> It's probably better. I'm essential, but I don't have any work, so that's fun. You, you, I thought you said you were seeing like plenty of patients. I was saying, uh, seeing a few, but uh, it's... I had a couple of discharges where we tried to extend the home health care, and the doctors aren't having it. Why? Even though, even though it puts the patients at risk. I don't know. Just doctors being doctors. Mm. Bummer. Yeah. It's what it is. And do you, are you working with a company or are you independent contractor? I can't remember. Yeah, I'm, I'm an employee for a company called Grand Care, the whole health agency. I see. Yeah. And it's salaried? Uh, no, it's uh, per patient. Commission or whatever. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's such a weird word to use, like commission or something. No, it's, yeah, it's, it's like, yeah, it's, uh, per visit. And Mikey, Mikey, Mikey's living the life, man. Mikey's just playing video games all day, right? Why can't I hear you very well, Mikey? Oh, because you have headphones as your microphone. Just unplug that thing. And then it goes to your default microphone. This yeah, but I don't want to use the okay, fine. Just unplug it. Technology's hard. 
we're gonna need to do next a drill that gets our heart going so we're not fat blobs by the end of this. I'm kind of anxious to do some guard passing with this, to be honest with you. Yeah, the top game feels better with the dummy for me. But this one is, you can't do any top game. So this is, it was like such a relief to whenever the first one was, I can't remember, to actually teach bottom game because it was like the other dummies I had like maxed out. Like, oh, yeah. there's only so many things that you can do. With a rigid 90 pound dummy, right? Yeah. 90 didn't sound that heavy to me, as I was saying. You know, dead weight, you know? I was like, okay, I, I was thinking in between an adult and a kid weight. That's what I was thinking. Like 90 pounds. Yeah, that sounds right. It's good compromise. Not. That's pretty heavy, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's insanely heavy. And they're huge. Awkward. They're as tall as I am. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to pay attention now. Ray, good on the triangle setup. Yeah, this, this is very nice, Ray. I can't quite see Christina. I don't know where Mikey is. What is Mikey doing? Why? This is just feedback. Like, what's the difference that I see you in person or in, in New York or wherever you are? Oh yeah, we have we have short arm dummies too. Hers are probably a little shorter. Hers is homemade. Oh, it is. Okay. What do you what do you do, Christina? She's a yeah. college professor. She teaches film. And so oh. now all the classes are online. Oh yeah, I sell a lot to uh, TJ Maxx, and they've shut down everything for two weeks and extended their payment terms on existing POs for an extra ninety days. It's going to be a lot longer in two weeks. Right? Well, no. That, but anyway, they're in a framing hat, so I get back there every once in a while. Oh. Okay, time. Let's pick up the pace with a little bit, uh, a little bit more fun. So, this guy's legs, you don't even need a... Oh, right. Hang on. Let me have a head. Come on, cameraman. I heard you say cardio and Mikey left. Yeah. Mikey's gone. He's eating ice cream. So, the next one, we're just going to do some X passes. Um, we can combine this. Who am I working with? Yeah. Christina, you haven't learned an X pass, though, right? I don't think so. I learned X guard. No, X pass. I don't know. I don't think so. Okay. So, I'm going to start. So normally you'd be in the De La Hiva. From the De La Hiva, the main goal is to kill the De La Hiva and to step over the leg. Then I grab the collar, or just put the hand on the chest, nogi. This position is called the headquarters. It has a strong stagger to my stance. You see how my back leg is back, and I sit my elbow on top of my leg. The first step is to bring my left foot in to his hip. So that's the first step for this pass. The second step is I kick my leg, my right leg, as high as it can go in the air. Now I push his legs over with my hand and I do a little skip step to knee on belly. Okay. The, re the reason I do this pass is normally in the back here, they'll be holding my ankle like this. But once I step over the leg, if in the headquarters, he lets go of this grip. I immediately, every time, do an X pass. So again on the details, step one is to take my foot and put it by the hip. Step two, kick my leg back. Step three, push his legs over. And then a little skip step to establish in the unbelly position. Now, for everybody that's a little bit more familiar with this, then I want you to do the windshield wiper. So double knee on the belly, feet together, touch my butt, windshield wiper to the knee on belly other side, and then come back and do it on this side. 
windshield wiper. Then come back. And then this side. We went over that windshield wiper movement quite extensively in when we were working in person. So we did that kind of thing for a week just to show the details on that. Knee will be right on the stomach. Kick stand on my leg. I'm gonna put my hands on the dummy's shoulders or on the mat, doesn't matter. Both knees go on the belly, feet to the butt, windshield wiper, keeping it at the butt, and then establish knee on belly. And then we just back up to the headquarters. Make sure every time that you get in headquarters that you try and connect your elbow with your leg, just like that. Okay, so don't get sloppy there. So here's the whole drill, starting on this side. X pass, windshield wiper, back to headquarters, X pass, windshield wiper, back to headquarters. So this will get us moving a little bit. I'll set a five minute timer. Ready, go. Elbow with knee, Mikey. I said elbow and knee. That's what I said. Pick up the pace, ice cream man. Go faster, Mikey. Burn those calories, man. I'm doing exercises with the kids and it's super interesting because I do like 20 minutes, five more extra minutes than I normally do and it's pretty intense. Like I'm doing burpees, push-ups, sit-ups, crunches, like non-stop for 20 minutes. And I don't sweat at all. It's amazing, I can't get my body to sweat without jujitsu. <laughs> without the weight of somebody else. I mean, I'm getting tired, yeah, but like, I'm just not sweating while I'm doing it. I can sweat. <laughs> That's never an issue for me. Super hard. That's not so bad. Your windshield wiper looks good. I can tell that you've already done it, Christina. Yep, yep, I know you did those. Honestly, with Brent's, I can't even tell it's a dummy. It looks like a normal person. <laughs> Just the angle I'm getting. I think the more experienced you get with jujitsu, the more that you just like manipulate the dummy into the right position too. I've been noticing that a lot with like the kid, the younger kids is like, if they just knew how to like position like the closed guard, oh, the dummy's falling over from closed guard or whatever and make a little adjustment with your legs, but the less experience that you have, the less likely you are to do those things. Like if you don't know it's in the wrong position. Exactly, position. yeah. Right. It, like it's, how I've characterized it in my mind, it's like if you have good imagination, the dummies are actually pretty good. But like if your imagination hasn't been developed yet, then yeah, it's very tricky. Yeah, they feel pretty good. They feel pretty realistic in a lot of ways. Yeah, if you... If you guys want the ones that I stuffed for you guys, which is all of them, um, you guys can pack them more dense and they will be much better. Like, I'm just like out of stuff. I, I finished my 10th one today. Let me tell you, I'm sleeping cold and I have one shirt. <laughs> Cause they're all in the dummies. <laughs> yeah. You need the dummies back for your wardrobe to come back after this, right? 
But my wardrobe had three shorts before, so like, not that big of a difference. And I'm pretty sure they weren't even my shirts. One whole bag of mine is worn out swimsuits that my daughter used to wear. Yeah, swimsuits don't make good stuffing material. Oh no, they do not bad. Mikey, faster! He doesn't want to unplug his headphones, so his microphone's on his headphones. Two more minutes. Are you guys, so Mikey's not working. Matt, are you working or partially working? I, I go in every day, check my orders, and make my shipments. I'm shipping to the trucking done by like 10 o'clock in the morning. So like I'm the only one that like has nothing to do, like except this. Which I guess is not all that different time-wise. I'm just not doing the morning classes. Right. All of them quit, so. What are you gonna do? What happened to Kevin? Kevin used to be on here every night. I don't know. I'll message him. Hang on. I was I was gonna keep my beautiful face on camera. Throw out names for me for people to invite. Oh, uh, I got, I got, I just got Johnny, Kevin. Uh, Gary. Ah, uh, yeah, Gary. Yeah. Daniel comments on a lot of these videos. Yeah, Daniel Lee. To be honest, I might be committing slight faux pas because I don't know who's members <laughs> anymore or not. Yeah. Oh, well. What about Wes? Wes. I think I invited Wes. Yeah. I'm only just working like the first couple of minutes of the match installing on these five minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Matt, you need to practice stalling. <laughs> Kevin logged on, but I'll bet you uh, he's working right now. Cause you know if Kevin was able to, that he would, uh, he would definitely say hello. Hello. Hello, are you working right now, Kevin? Um, yeah. Yeah, bummer. What time do you get off? I mean, I just shut my computer right now, so oh. now. <laughs> I think you're, you're the type of person where I'm gonna remember 
your voice, it's so distinctive to my brain for some reason. I'm going to remember it in 10 years, like crystal clear in my head. That's good. I want it burned in your brain. Oh, gosh. Your kids must love that. Yeah. <laughs> my late father-in-law had an extremely distinctive voice, and I can still hear it even though he's gone. Like, like no problem. It's amazing. Because I can't do that, like with certain people after a certain amount of time. All right, time. Let's do the skeleton structure of passing the guard. I'll talk mainly in context because Christina knows this. Hopefully she hasn't forgot. Where's Christina? Did she leave? I'm here. Uh, oh, okay. You're just next out. I see. So um, you remember the skeleton structure of passing the guard, right? Uh, I yeah. But when I see it. We're, we're in the De La Hiva. We kill the De La Hiva, we step over the leg, we grab, oh, yeah, yeah. and then we move to knee slice, and then we get underhook. Yeah. All right. This is what we're going to do then. The only thing is really, how do we manipulate our dummies? Man, my dummy needs more of a butt. It's kind of, yeah, he has no butt. So you kind of like hold the legs yourself, like, because if you don't hold them, that's what you're going to get. So like if I'm holding them, there's probably not too much visually that you can tell a difference of. But I push it off, but I'm still kind of holding it up. And when I step over, I'm holding this leg up. I grab the collar or just frame on the chest, that's fine. Move to knee slice. I position the leg where I want to, to sit on it. And then underhook, tricep control, ear with ear, and slide through. Try and be kind with the dummies, because I don't know how long they need to last. And I don't think they're the greatest quality for commercial use. All right, ready, go. Uh, both sides, or? Yeah, both sides. Practice jumping to mount. What was that? Say it again. Because I want to practice jumping to mount. Jumping to mount. Yeah, they, they're pretty good uh, practice dummy for that. Um, now, Brent asked both sides. Everybody should not practice both sides. Christina should definitely just practice one side. Um, Matt, it's kind of up to you, Matt, Mikey, and uh, whoever. I can speak to my own drummer anyway. Uh, for my birthday, I was working in my backyard, and my neighbor peeks over and says there are a bunch of bees in, in their backyard. And I'm like, oh, dang it. Like, this is probably my fault. <laughs> and uh, the best that I can figure it was that there was a separate colony in their tree. And I was, knowing what I know, I know that one of mine could have swarmed and started there, or maybe it could have been just completely different. So just to like avoid all problems, I was like, I'll take care for it, of it for you, no problem. And they're like, when? I'm like, right now, I'll suit up and take care of it. So I suit up and it's in the middle of a tree. So it's very hard to get to. And they built like the hive like into the branches. So it's not just like hanging there where you can just like take care of it easily. So I get into them and they are the meanest bees that I've ever worked with. They were freaking mean. I got stung through my suit uh, several times. The most painful of which was right here. It still hurts right here today. A forehead sting is probably the second most painful. Only eyelid, lips, tongue is going to be more painful than that. But it hurt, man. And I got stung on my legs too. But then uh, I was going to relocate them. But I was like, forget you guys. You guys are done. <laughs> So I filled them. I went out, went in, and they followed me because I didn't hop the fence. I went around the long way. They followed me for a quarter mile, which is ridiculous. That's like highly Africanized, uh, that type of defensiveness. So I put on like a zillion things of clothing underneath my bee suit and then killed them all. So that was what I did yesterday. It was exhausting because you're wearing basically 
like a gi long sleeve shirt and a b suit and you are just sweating buckets murdered all the poor bees oh those bees were not poor trust me you don't want any of those bees in your neighborhood freaking mean bees is what they were not, not a great deal yeah so what you can do not that you care but i'm gonna like entertain you anyway you can capture them and then you can kill the queen and then you can introduce a new queen which has milder genetics because they sell those and that's no problem but then until the entire population changes over they'll be mean so i was like i don't want these bees in my back nobody wants these bees in their backyard it's like, if you've got enough bees already, you don't need extra mean bees. Yeah. And one of mine is kind of mean. Like, they're kind of pissy. But Hey, Kevin! Wait, is that Mark? No, that's Kevin. Uh, that's Ben. That's Ben? I can't tell. You all look the same. I know, right? You're all ants. Move it. Oh, I see what is going. I see your feet now, Kevin. Yeah. Oh, okay. Hang on. We're gonna adjust. All right. Let me let me stop talking about bees and let me pay attention to you. Let me do my job. Move the camera down a little bit. All right. Let's see, yeah. Ray. I anticipate that you all are good on this. That's like my expectation. Like we're just kind of getting. How's that on camera angle? Ben. Yeah. Where were you drilling? Like on the floor. A little lower then. A little lower. Uh, <laughs> mm. Oh, it won't. Yeah. It, it was fine. Uh, that? That's that works actually. That's a totally poor angle. All right, ready? Actually, no, because I can see stuff. Like I can see the important details. All right, let me see Ray here. All right, come on. Do your thing. Nice. I'm going to give you guys homework assignments on your dummies. Ooh. I'm saving it for last. I have the best Are you doing your 6.30 analysis? Yes, I am. Who are you doing tonight? Um, I'm doing random purple belts. Um, I think that's really some of the best thing to look at, to like point out. Because they, they're, if I do white belts, I'm just gonna talk about techni technical problems, right? Because their technique sucks. But by purple belt, people have pretty good techniques. But, and I can focus a little bit on the technique thing sometimes, but they're good enough, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> to where I can focus a little bit more on strategy, but they're not perfect yet. Like. When I was analyzing, for example, Nicholas Marigali uh, versus, I forget what match it was, but some of the matches that I've analyzed, it's so into the weeds strategic, like the smallest thing, that I think it goes over some, some people's heads, so they don't, they don't have like this, the, the mental structure to layer what I'm saying on, whereas if I look at purple belts, it's kind of nice. So I'll probably repeat that that statement. All right, everybody, do the other side right now. Did you see the guy on, that you did on Saturday open the guy's lapel with his teeth? Yeah, I honestly I try and use yeah. the teeth sometimes when I think it would be convenient, and every time that I try it, I have gag reflex. I have a strong yeah. gag reflex when I get. I don't even want to do it right now. But you get like a full lapel in your mouth, and you're you're kind of breathing hard. I don't, that, that, that is not very, uh, yeah, and I I don't think Brent will be doing that anytime soon. Uh, uh, Ray, don't forget to grab the collar before you start to move to knee slice, okay? Yeah, I know, that's the idea. What we lack in realism, we make up in brain teasers. Yeah, I don't know how that would work. 
No, I just said I watched. I've been watching. Oh, you watched it? Yeah, I thought you said you were hoping for one. No, no, no. Those were pretty interesting uh, matches. Yeah. yeah. I wish Roberto would have felt better when he went against Kylie because he was sick. Yeah, but I don't think he would have won anyway. But I was just glad Roberto showed up because if he didn't show up, it would have been a little lackluster. Not lackluster, it's still a great tournament. Yeah. But I hate that tournament. I don't like listening to it or watching to it. I like the Open. The Open was my favorite of all time. Ray, you haven't heard of the jujitsu.net open that I did, did you? No. So I was more doing the jujitsu.net brand a few years ago that, uh, and, and website, and we ran tournaments. And one tournament, I just, and the tournaments were very popular. I streamed them at high quality, and they were free on Facebook, and it had like graphics and production value. And uh, so one of the last one that I did, I made it an open tournament. It was just one division and anybody of any age could register. And uh, we had all the juveniles and even teens register. But I made sure that I like recruited the best ones. Like Talis competed in it, Mikael Galvo, some really amazing people. Um, Kynan, who's now, or was, I should say, a black belt world champion uh, before he got it revoked for, for uh, for doping violations. Um, he was in it. And I also got just this perfect sign up. I got somebody who was a self taught white belt sign up. Almost everybody in the tournament was just a killer. And here, this self taught white belt uh, signs up. And uh, he got paired up with Kynan in his first round. <laughs> I think very nice, though. How do you do? So nice. Um, kind of was very nice. Kind of was. I told him to be nice. <laughs> he tapped to me, slice pressure, Ray. That's what he tapped to me. He didn't tap to a submission. He tapped to me, slice pressure. I don't even remember. But let me tell you, the entire tournament, the highest views, because you can see the analytics, were during that match. <laughs> and that was what everybody was asking about. It's so funny. <laughs> There were a bunch of like great matches. I can't believe that that was. No, there was that one. Oh, you you don't understand what it is to to be a promoter. You think it's sometimes it is about putting on the best fights, but it's just about entertainment. Train wreck. Yeah, it had that whole tournament. What happens when a thirteen-year-old green belt who's been training ten years goes against a brown belt? You don't know. I don't know. Like nobody knows. That was the best tournament ever, and. Because I'm talking to Ray, because he wasn't doing jujitsu this time. In that match, guess who won? Green. Yep, the 13-year-old green belt. Oh, yeah. By submission, quickly. And it was a brown belt competitor too. Okay, time. What, All right. What was, what was that? What was the age difference? They, I don't know. The the other guy was 26 or something. And then Talis, who was 16 at the time, I matched him up with a black belt, and Talis won. I mean, that had, on you on Facebook alone, that had 200,000 views. Yeah. It was a, a bigger black belt as well. Yeah, he, he gave up like two or three weight categories. Okay. So, here's your homework assignment with your dummies. I don't even know if I can do this on a dummy, but I learned this move on a chair. So, <laughs> you guys can do it on the dummy. Is that we are going to learn Barambolo. Um, Barambolo on a dummy is probably a, a fair, a good place to actually learn it. Because you can like try it anonymously in your home. <laughs> while you just get the like sheer basics of it down. So, what I'm going to do with my dummy here is we're both going to be in double pull. And I'm just going to make the daily Heva guard. So, just don't get confused. Just imagine he's standing up. My right leg gets the daily Heva hook. You see? And my left grabs his heel just down here. My other foot goes on his hip. So this is on the hip or inner thigh will be fine. Now, 
you're going to reach for his hip or belt or pants or whatever. Just make, just put your hand here. You don't, Nogi, you can do this fine. It's a little harder, Nogi, but you can do it. But grab something. Now, this is where it gets super tricky. I don't know that the angles are going to be the best because I haven't worked it out yet. I haven't done the mat math and how the inversion will work out and the view you'll get. You'll probably be staring at my butt. Or, so what I'm going to do is my head ducks down almost like under my knee. And I roll and I go completely upside down. So I duck all the way down. I roll through. And now you're looking at my butt. <laughs> this position is the Barambolo position. I actually want to... Let's start it. Let's start it at a different angle. Because I don't do this enough to really understand my body upside down. And giving the best angle. Like I can do the move. but. So you want to roll through just a little bit more. So I'm actually on my shoulder in this position. Now, this hand, the one that grabbed his hip in the beginning, it reaches all the way around his back to the far hip. Note my feet position. I wanna keep my foot under the armpit and across his chest, and this one across his leg, just like this. Now, the hand that grabs the ankle is going to reach and grab the far leg. So both of my hands here have control of the things furthest from me. Now I throw his leg on my shin and I use my shin to bring him over here in front of me. And this right foot becomes the right hook as I do that. Now I seat belt, I'll be on my side. I seat belt and I throw in the second hook. So Christina, I know you're not familiar with this at all and it's okay. It's just like a fun, fun thing. But this is one of the more popular movements of competitive jujitsu, not at white belt level. Not even as much at blue belt. Elite blue belt, yes, like world championship level blue belt. But at purple, it's, it's everywhere, especially in the female divisions, in the lighter female divisions, and uh, as you get better. Not a master six. No, no master six. So Matt, you can do another movement if you want. That's fine with me. You can do the previous ones all together. Well, so, the first guy to do this at master six. Go ahead, you got it, Matt. So, I make the daily heva guard. I grab the ankle. I put the foot on the hip. This is all just daily heva. And think of it as belt grip daily heva. Think like he's, he's on top right here and you need to make daily heva and you just make belt grip daily heva. That's all that this position is, except we're starting in the double pull. So you can get this technique from the daily heva, but um, by starting him here, you can kind of take away getting his feet, his, uh, hips on the mat, which is another battle that you'll have to win. So I grab the belt as I was saying. Now let me rotate so I give you a better angle. You won't see so great the inversion, but the resulting position will be better. Now my head ducks all the way down, tight. Tight roll as much as you can, and roll all the way through until you're on your right shoulder. My foot goes across his chest. This other foot hooks his far leg. Now, I grab far hip, I grab his far leg, and I throw this leg onto my shin, and then my shin kicks him off, and then I've exposed the back, seat belt grip, and then second hook as I threaten the neck. I got it, Dan. <laughs> Have you yeah. ever successfully done a Baron Bolo mat? Yes. You have? Not, just, I mean, I build, I build underneath and protect you the back. That's good. I do it from that um, smash pass I've done. Okay, yeah, rolling, yeah. I've, Nolan showed you that one. Thanks, Nolan. Thank you, Nolan. All right. So, I grab the ankle, De La Hiva. Grab his belt, foot on the hip. A tight roll. Put your head right in this little spot. Don't have it be out far like that. You're not gonna do it. 
You have to tuck under. Really tuck tight. Invert. I'm on my right shoulder. I grab around his back. Now I grab his far leg. I pull him with my grips and I put his leg on my shin. I keep pulling him and then I flick his, use that shin to kind of kick him off of you. Seat belt, one hook, two hooks, and then complete. All right. Wait, did Mikey just peace out? It's like, I'm not gonna do Baron Bolo. Right. Oh, he's got, he's got his headphones on. It's going to game mode. I can't hear you guys, I have to put this on. Oh, okay. Oh, I see, I see. All right, let's do it, let's practice. Ready, go. All right. It's okay if it's a mess. I don't, I don't know if I have enough mat space for this. Oh, you can do it with barely any mat space. Double pull, uh, Kevin and Ben. Sit down, Ben. Yeah. So here, good. Now grab his, yeah. You guys might not have enough space. Pull your head, old man. Oh, <laughs> Kevin just knocks himself out. <laughs> not. <laughs> I'm gonna link a video for you guys. It was where I can teach it. I know I can teach this move in person to anybody in the world. I got Steve-O doing a Baron Bolo. Um, I gave a Baron Bolo class and it was, uh, it was cool. And there. Well, Ray ended on the back. I didn't see the beginning of it. Yeah, but this is, I want to give you something to tinker with. That's the idea. I, I have no illusion of you perfecting your first Baron Bolo like this. But honestly, yeah. this is the way that most people learn the Baron Bolo. That's not bad. Go a little bit more. Roll just a hair more, Ray. Good. Now reach around your dummy's back. Grab his fall all the way around his back. Grab his far leg. Now just pull him on top of you. Go, pull. That's not bad at all. Just a little off on which way you were manipulating him at the final, but that was really good. <clears throat> I'm cheating. How are you cheating, Matt? <laughs> I haven't seen Matt. I can't see Matt. Is there any way I can see you, Matt? What? Can you tilt the camera down so I can see? I actually do want to see this one. <coughs> I think so. Good, good enough. Yeah, Matt's actually not so bad. Yeah, but I'm just I'm using my strength. Yeah, no, no, no. It, yeah, I see what you. I think you just doing a few more like this will actually help you. Just to get familiar with it. Because if you can do this, that rolling back take that you're trying from the quarter guard is very good. Or smash pass, excuse me. Let me get this here out of way. Let me see Brent. Yeah, Brent's doing. Brent, did you grab all the way around the back? Did you take the moment to make that grip? Uh, yeah, I don't have a uh, I grabbed the lapel on the back. That's fine. Wait, who just did that with Kevin and Ben? Not so bad. You lost your first hook, but not so bad. Okay, time. Not because we're done and not because we're going to another technique. Because you tried it one or two times, especially Kevin and Ben. Ben, did you get a haircut? He did it. Yeah. Cool. You got an involuntary haircut. Involuntary haircut. Uh, just because you have some experience now, I wanted to just show it one more time and then the last few minutes you can practice it. And then I'm gonna throw up a link of a basic Baron Bolo highlight um, that's excellent to watch this move in action. Because if you don't believe it, you don't believe in this move, you'll never get it, you'll never learn it. But if you see how much people are actually doing this thing, then you might believe in it and just okay, go, okay, for 30 minutes of me practicing it, it's gonna be terrible and frustrating, 
But that's just 30 minutes. What the heck is 30 minutes in a 10 year career? It's nothing. But a lot of people can't get their brain past like that 30 minutes. With that said, I don't think it's gonna be an, a move that Kevin is gonna use. I don't think it's gonna be a move that Matt will use, but Ray, Brent, Ben, like Christina, conceivably, you could. All right, so De La Hiva, hand here. I can use this grip to pull myself, like pull, and I duck my head as tight as I can. Like I wanna smell my feet or something. Now don't stop here. Nice pants to show, khakis underneath. Don't stop completely upside down like this. You actually wanna roll just a little bit through and your head peeks out the other side. Now, I grab the far pants, I grab the far leg, I start to pull him, not on top of me, Matt, this is what you did. You brought him all the way like this, straight forward. Do you understand right. what I'm saying, Matt? So, but what you want to do from here is you want to bring him a little bit more to the side. Do you understand? Perfect. That was why you said, like, I feel like I'm muscling him because you tried to take that and put it all down. Invert, grab all the way around the back, grab the far leg, bring him to the side a little bit, extend, seat belt, and second hook. All right, ready, go. Roll a little bit more through, Kevin, until you're comfortable. There, kind of like, yeah. There, that's, that's better, Kevin. Now grab around his back, grab his far leg, and now you kind of bring him towards me almost, towards the camera. Good. And Ben, just jump that way. Now get that right hook in, right hook in, Kevin. Let him get, the, good, now seatbelt. Hey, Kevin, that, that could be constituted a successful barambolo. Granted, very slow, like a hair sloppy, but it, all the main points were there in that one. Oh, Wait, was that Ben? Like, that totally Kevin did that. Roll through a little bit more, uh, Ray. You're completely upside down. Remember when I said, like, roll through a little bit more? Peek your head out on his leg side. There, that's, I think that's it. Good. Now grab around his back, grab his far leg. Yeah, this, this is pretty good. Yeah, Ray's got it. Just find out when the stops are all What? I just gotta find out yeah. when the stops I, no, William did that. Maybe this, the paper clip or something. Yeah, I don't know how to open it though. But I think it's just the. Oh, I missed it. I don't know if I can do it again. Elton and Fernando are here. They were distracting me. They're picking up their stuff. That's pretty good, Ben. From what I can see, that's not so bad. Right hook in, Ben. Right hook in. Kevin, put his right hook in with your right hand. I think you took it out. Ben's dummy looks like it's easier to work with than the rest of ours. Christina, unmute yourself. Good being a chicken. I don't want to see those cat eyes. I see cat eyes right now, Christina. Can we all call Christina, Christina from New York? 
It's like, uh, what's his face? Uh, what's the blue belt's name? That Jim from Higher Ground. He trains at Higher Ground now, originally Brea. Is it Jim? Matt. No, it's Matt. Not Jim. Not, not Jim. Um, Matt introduces himself to me every single time that we see each other. Same here. <laughs> it's like Matt. I, I remember you, Matt. He's nice. He's a nice guy. He's a super nice guy. He's really nice. But like, I helped him rehab his knee. I know. <laughs> you, man. We're friends. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. <laughs> I'm mean, yeah, I, I guess I, I appreciate it because I do forget names when you get to. Yeah, me too. And, and the people that should remind me don't. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Okay, time. I'm going to get set up for the analysis class. I, I kind of want to do it on the Brea Jiu-Jitsu page. I haven't really decided because I want to like bring Brea Jiu-Jitsu's brand up and not my brand. My brand is fine. Um, so maybe check both. I don't know. If you want to yeah. tune into that. Facebook. Get, you get more viewers. Oh, absolutely on Facebook. But I'm saying the Brea Jiu-Jitsu uh, Facebook page or my personal page. I might try it on Facebook tonight. and It doesn't reach as many people, even though I have like whatever, 9,000 followers or whatever it is on Facebook. Only the people that regularly like show up and less so on, uh, than the personal account. But I'll try that. All right, I'll see you guys. Uh, Wednesday is the next dummy class. Um, tomorrow, 6.30. Um, tune in. I'll tr if you guys want a, a replay of the analysis, um, I'll make it so you guys can see it. I'm deleting it for everybody else because I don't... I'm talking about people that I know and I'm saying like things like, oh, he shouldn't do this, he should do that. Like, I don't know, it's a little weird to have out there. But... Uh, yeah, you guys get the DVR option. Okay. I'll see ya.